Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Neil and today I've got a cool product here. It's called a Android Mini TV box. Now basically what it does is it allows you to have like the internet and apps and games and that sort of thing all on your TV. Okay, it's really easy to set up as well. What I'm going to do is get everything out of the box, we'll have a look at what we get and then we'll move the video in and I'll teach you how to set it all up. Okay, here we go. So, first thing we're going to get is the TV box itself. Take the packaging off. So, basically, it's quite a simple design. It's got the Android sign on the top, on the front face. Okay, now on the side here, you get two USB ports. I'll put it down. Hopefully, you can see that better. And a micro FT card slot. Now, I'll, I'll explain what the two USB slots are for in a minute when we pull the camera in. On the bottom side, we have <coughs> the DC charging port micro USB port, mini HDMI port, an internet cable port, and a earphone jack. So that's pretty much the box itself. Uh, you'll see how it sets up soon, okay? We'll move that out of the way. Also in the box, you will get the charging socket, standard normal one, okay? A mini HDMI cable, a micro USB cable, you get a controller, uh, this doesn't come with batteries so remember you need to buy some triple AAs if you want to use this, and you get a normal uh, user guide, okay? So now what we're going to do is pull the camera in and have a look how to set it up and what it can actually do. Okay, so this is really, really straightforward to set up. Um, <clears throat> you get everything you need other than a mouse and a keyboard. You do get this controller, so you don't actually really need a keyboard and mouse, but I find it much easier with a, a mouse, um, so I'm going to use that. Now, to set it up, it's quite straightforward. You just get the um, HDMI cable that we provide, plug it into the box, like so, and then plug the other end into the back of the TV. Like so. Then take the power cable, plug it into the wall, and then plug uh, the socket into the DC 5 volt, and that will start turning on. While it's doing that, <coughs> I will plug in my USB uh, mouse. There's two ports, as we know. Uh, second one, you're better off putting a keyboard in because it is faster. Um, we're also going to use the Wi Fi rather than the uh, internet cable, so. Um, I'll show you how to do that as well, it's quite string, simple, okay? So we leave that there now, and just wait for the box to start up. Here we go, so that's starting up now, okay? Now this is pretty much the same sort of layout as a Android tablet or cell phone, so you've got your uh, return button, your home button, um, and an on-off button. I will try to remind you later, but Remember to turn this off when you're not using it, just shut it down like you would a normal phone, okay? So, first of all, you get this screen here. If you come up to the top right-hand corner and click that, that will take you to all of your apps. Now, uh, you can play games, you can watch movies, you can download any app that you like, uh, you can watch YouTube, Facebook, you can do pretty much everything that you can do on a normal tablet, except it's on your TV. Okay, so we'll have a look at a few of the things it can do. The first thing is I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi on, as you can see, connected. Okay, this actually can connect to your mobile phone as well. And so you can connect it to the box. And then obviously you can have any... So that's pretty much what gaming's like. Um, I guess we can maybe let's watch a video, shall we? So it's exactly the same, just like um, on your mobile phone, you put videos on here and uh, watch them. You can download TV shows, anything, YouTube, do whatever you want to do, put full movies on it, it's no problem. Okay, so that's the movies done. 
obviously the other main function is surfing the internet and obviously that side of it so what we do is we we bring this up now there we go now if you haven't got a keyboard it's not too much of a big deal so just wait for it to catch up you can just go to um, eBay In. There we go. So, normal searching. That's only because of my IP. But yeah, so you can search the internet as well. And then when you're finished, you just come back out like so. Okay. Uh, so it's really easy to navigate and use. Treat it like a tablet, um, but obviously it's on your TV on a big screen, uh, and you do get the added bonus of like the internet and using it as a computer as well. So what we're going to do now is pull the video back out. Just remember, when you are finished with it, just turn it off, okay? Just close it down and let it power off, okay? Hi, welcome back. So this is running on Android 4.1. It has two gig of RAM, eight gig of ROM. It has a quad core 1.6 gigahertz CPU and the screen resolution it outputs is 1920 by 1080. Now, as you can see, it is really, really easy to set up um, and also can be a lot of fun. I will put links below the video for this and links to our websites, but if you are interested in cool gadgets or any smartphones and tablets, then come visit our website. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.